Say you're a teacher and you want to use the new iPod Touch or iPhone to help your students succeed in the classroom. For example, say you're a geography teacher and you want to give your students access to a powerful program that allows them to fly around the world traveling to distant countries and continents, literally giving them the world at their fingertips. Well, there's an app for that. Or perhaps you'd like to provide your students with educational videos from the Discovery Channel. From content about weather and marine life, to engineering and outer space exploration, there's likely a video here for you and your students. Or say you're a chemistry teacher and you'd like to give your students a handy reference tool that they can take with them wherever they go. There's an app for that too. Or maybe you're a math teacher and you want to give your students a really cool program that lets them visualize and manipulate three-dimensional graphs. Well, guess what? There's an app for that. Or Maybe history is more your style, and you're looking for a great way to connect maps to the various historical concepts you're teaching in the classroom. Well, there's an app for that. Or, if you're looking for some more current maps, from world maps, US states, countries, and oceans, there's even an app for that. Or let's say you're using a popular textbook in your algebra class and you'd like to provide your students with a supplementary program that allows them to test their knowledge and practice their skills. Well, there's even an app for that. So perhaps you'd like to learn the most effective ways to use this technology in the classroom. There's a workshop for that. Saturday, October 17th, only at Western Oregon University.